I've been hard at work over the last four months alongside two other well-respected map creators in the Rocket League scene to bring you the biggest and craziest training map that you have ever seen in this game. Let me show you a brand new way to train in Rocket League and how you could win up to 1500 euros by playing this map. If you're familiar with Rocket League training maps, you've seen rings maps, dribble challenges, and time trials. But you've never seen something like this. Welcome to the Dacia Spring Electric Challenge, created by Jadek, Mr. Swiggles, and myself. This training map features three gigantic zones with 20 levels spread across the landscape. And when I say gigantic, well, here's a normal Rocket League stadium. It's pretty big, right? Okay, well here's zone one with the stadium inside it. Yeah, it's big. In this challenge, the levels don't feature a ball as we'd normally expect. Instead, you have to reach the ball at the end of each level and use your car control to get there. Dacia had a vision of a map accessible to as many ranks as possible, so there are different levels of difficulty to choose from. If you play on Epic Games or Steam versions of Rocket League, you're able to give this challenge a try. If you've never played custom maps before, I'll have links to helpful guides to set you up with custom maps in less than 10 minutes, along with the download link for this map. That's right, Epic Games can play custom maps too, don't worry. Anyway, the lower difficulty, Easy, allows players to either use Unlimited Boost or Limited Boost, and the recommended ranks range from Bronze to Platinum. Moderate difficulty is meant for Diamond to Champion players. Meanwhile, the best of the best in Grand Champion and Supersonic Legend can try their hands at Expert Mode. The upper two difficulties are meant to be played with Limited Boost, which can be set in your settings here. Every four levels is a timed level which requires you to use quick thinking and precise movement to reach the end goal. But don't worry, all of the levels are designed in a way that makes reaching the end easier at lower difficulties, such as slower moving platforms, more boost per pickup, or longer completion timers. This level, for example, gives you more boost to jump to slower platforms and easy, while as you go up in difficulty, the side to side platforms increase in speed, while also reducing your available boost. And don't worry, if you find any level too difficult, you can use the left or right d-pad to skip forward or backwards through a level to practice. And you can also reset the entire challenge by pressing down on the d-pad plus ball cam at the same time. But beware, if you skip levels, your run will be permanently notified that you can't use the run for world records. Speaking of world records, I mentioned earlier that you have the chance to win up to 1500 euros on this map. And that's because Jadek, Mr. Swaggles, and myself are hosting a speedrunning competition which is awarding the top two best legitimate completion times on expert mode. This competition is running until April 17th at 11.59pm CET. And trust me, expert mode is not easy. The first place run will be awarded 1500 euros, while the second place is awarded 500 euros. For a full list of rules on how to submit your run, join the Dacia Spring Electric Challenge speedrunning discord. It's the first link in the description. But even if you aren't quite at the level to compete for prize money, there's something for everyone to take away from this challenge map. And even if you don't want to give yourself a challenge, there's an explore mode which lets you visit any zone that you want and you can look around the whole map at your leisure. This training map will push your limits in Rocket League, helping with car control, boost management, and speed management all of which are key components in your everyday gameplay. But before we get into the levels themselves, I'd first like to talk a bit about Dacia and their new electric vehicle called the Dacia Spring. Since its inception, Dacia has made its mission to make new, essential and reliable vehicles available for the many. The brand has evolved over the years, adapting to meet the needs of its customers while staying true to its roots. In doing so, it has broken the mold and shaken up the automotive market on several occasions. And one of their latest additions to their lineup of vehicles is the Dacia Spring, which was released last year and is the cheapest 100% electric city vehicle on the market. The Dacia Spring won two awards this past year, the Good Deal Award from the Automobile Awards 2021, and the Best Buy Car of 2022 by the European Auto Best Jury. Dacia reached out to the three of us to create a custom Rocket League map that would not only give players a new way to train, but also celebrate the one year anniversary and success of their Dacia Spring, which makes this the most unique custom map that I've ever been involved in. Huge thanks to Swigles and Jadek for working super hard with me to make this a reality. I'll give you guys a quick look at some of the levels from each zone, but I wanted you guys to discover the challenge for yourself. I will definitely release another video in a week or so showing the whole map to you guys, but now it's your turn to give it a shot. Welcome to Zone 1, The City. This zone features eight levels that take you on a journey around the whole city, from the city streets, to the highest heights of the skyscrapers, and along the city's major highway. To complete each level in this challenge, you have to grab all of the collectibles, which are labeled as lightning bolts throughout the levels, which charge your car as you collect them. Because, you know, we're using electric vehicles here. You must then reach the ball at the end of the level. If you don't collect all lightning bolts, the ball won't budge. Let me in. Let me in. So make sure to keep an eye out for all of them. Levels 1 to 3 will teach you the basics of how to play, featuring rings and spaced out platforms.
Level 4 will be your first time challenge at the top of the city, which requires accurate turns and jumps between rings. Levels 5 to 7 will reinforce the basics while adding a bit more difficulty, this time with longer jumps and higher rings. Level 8 is the final gauntlet that tests everything that you've learned up at this point. And once you complete it, you will enter a portal that takes you to the new zone. Welcome to Zone 2, the suburbs. Dacia is conscious of emissions, which is why we've designed this zone with a green footprint in mind. This zone contains levels 9 to 16, which introduces moving platforms that you will need to use to cross the levels. Levels 9 to 11 will start you off with a couple moving platforms and slowly work up to adding obstacles in your way. Now level 12 gets a bit tricky, but the idea is to follow a platform to the end of the level. On expert difficulty, this is especially important because this platform is your only key to winning the level. Moving on to levels 13 to 15, we reintroduce some rings and tight platforming to prepare you for the biggest challenge yet. Level 16 is an absolute beast. Just look at this thing. It's probably my second favorite level of the whole challenge, aside from the final level in the final zone. Let me show you that now. This futuristic stadium features the final four levels of the challenge. We designed this stadium with the shape of Dacia's logo in the roof as you can see here, and I absolutely love the look of these four levels. We've now introduced bright red lasers that will reset you if you touch them. These levels are very difficult, and test your ability to maneuver your car with low boost. They also test your ability to fit within tight spaces between deadly lasers. Now when I said level 16 was a beast, well, level 20, the final level, makes level 16 look tiny in comparison. This gauntlet combines everything that you've learned in this challenge and races you to a platform at the very end of the level. I couldn't imagine a better way to conclude this challenge. It took a lot of time, effort, and sleepless nights to bring this creation to life for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Huge thanks to Dacia for giving us the opportunity to work on such a massive project. Definitely consider their vehicles in the future if you're looking for a clean, affordable choice. But best of luck to everyone, and let me know what you guys think of the map. 
Once again, if you want to compete for the prize pool, be sure to join the Discord. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.